Okay, in precalculus, we started what are even and the odd functions. Uh, we said to see whether a function is an even function, we want to look at what is a f of negative x. If f of negative x equals fx, then that function will be an even function. For example, uh, the function fx equals x squared is an even function. Why? Because uh, if we consider the function f of negative x, now f of negative x, it means right now the input of the function is a negative x. Okay, so I'm going to change the x into negative x. So f of negative x is a negative x squared. Uh, remember, uh, we have to uh, we have to add this parenthesis, okay? Because uh, here, what we are squaring is a negative x, okay? And this equals negative one squared times x squared, and uh, equals x squared. Now x squared is a fx. Therefore, f of negative x equals fx. Uh, another example is uh, say uh, the function uh, 2x to the fourth plus 3. This function is also an even function because uh, f of negative x, uh, this equals 2 times negative x to the fourth plus 3, which is uh, 2 times uh, negative x to the fourth is x to the fourth plus 3, which equals fx right. and uh, to see where the function is an odd function the definition is uh, if uh, f of negative x equals negative fx then the function is an odd function uh, like uh, for example function fx equals x to the third this function is an odd function because uh, f of uh, negative x uh, is a uh, negative x to the third which equals negative one to the third times x to the third negative one to the third equals negative one so this is negative one times x to the third because x to the third is fx so this equals negative fx okay um, another property about the even and odd function uh, is uh, the graph of uh, an even function is uh, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Um, like fx equals x squared. Right, we can see the graph is symmetric with respect to this uh, horizontal axis, right? Or uh, fx equals 2 to x to the fourth plus 3. The graph is uh, symmetric with respect to the y axis. And uh, if a function is uh, an odd function, the graph is uh, symmetric with respect to the origin. So if I change this into x to the third, we can see the graph is symmetric with respect to this point uh, 0 0 okay now um, in this video we're gonna see when we are given an integral and uh, for this integral if the lower bounds and the upper bound they are opposite numbers like uh, the lower bound is from negative a to uh, the upper bound is a and uh, at this time, if the function is uh, an even function or odd function, uh, this uh, the property of the even and odd function will help us to simplify the process of finding uh, what this integral is. Okay, mm. so let's first look at the the result about the even function. So the result about the even function is uh, uh, this integral from negative a to positive a. If a function fx is an even function, then the result of this uh, definite integral 
equals two times the integral from zero to a f x d x. Why? Because uh, uh, we know the the result of this integral from negative a to positive a. This uh gave us the area of the region bounded by this curve, and uh, between the two numbers negative a and uh, positive a. Now, because the graph of the even function is uh, symmetric with respect to the origin, so these two areas, these two areas, the, the one is the green and the blue, um, they gonna have the same area. They gonna have the same area, right? So therefore, uh, the sum of these two is equal to two times the area of this uh, blue region. So that's why uh, this uh, integral we can write as a two times of the integral from zero to a. Okay, and uh, if a function is an odd function, the result is uh, um, the integral from negative a to positive a uh, equals zero. Why? Because uh, uh, in this case, um, this uh, this piece because it it is uh, below the x axis, and this piece is above the x axis. So the net area equals zero because this is a negative area, and th this area uh, this region has a negative area, and this region has a positive area. So when we add them up, uh, their values are cancelled. Now, uh, be careful when we use this, uh, these two results. A very important thing is that we have to, ch we, we, we need to check if the bounds are opposite. So the, the, the result is uh, true only if uh, the bounds on the integral are symmetric. Okay. So if uh, uh, the bounds are from negative two to positive three, then we cannot uh, use this uh, result directly. Okay. The bounds must be from a negative number to the uh, to the positive same number. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at some examples. Okay. So here we have the integral from negative two to positive two x to the fourth dx. Now first, um, the function x to the fourth, this function is an even function because uh, uh, f of negative x equals negative x to the fourth, which equals x to the fourth equals fx. Okay, um, Because it's an even function, so this integral gonna equals two times the integral from zero to positive two. Okay, to find what this integral is, we can use the first uh, fundamental uh, theorem of calculus. We first find out what is the antiderivative of the function fx equals x to the fourth. The antiderivative of this function is uh, x to the fifth over phi. Okay, so then we evaluate this at zero and at two and find the difference. So we can we can know what is the result of this integral, and then we multiply that number by two. We can find the result of uh, this integral. So when x equals five, this is a thirty-two. So thirty-two over five minus when x is zero, that's zero. So this equals sixty-four over five. For the second one, this function is an odd function. Um, since it's an odd function, when the 
integral when the when the lower bound and upper bound they are opposite numbers the result equals zero right. so function x to the seventh is an odd function because uh, um, f of uh, negative x equals negative x to the power of 7 and this equals negative 1 to the power of 7 times x to the power of 7 um, and this equals negative x to the 7th which equals negative fx is art okay okay let's look at into the uh, the last one in the last function in the last integral sorry this function is neither even nor odd because the first term is an um, even function and the second term is an odd function so we cannot use uh, the result directly because the result only works when the function is uh, either even or odd now in this case um, we can first use the property of the integral to split this uh, integral into two integrals first is uh, the integral about an even function and minus the integral about an odd function okay and uh, then um, since the first function is an even function so this uh, integral equals 2 times the integral from 0 to 5 3x squared dx and uh, the second integral is an other function the integral of uh, an other functions uh, it equals 0 so this equals 2 times uh, zero from zero to five three x squared dx and uh, mm, because a three is a constant multiple so I can bring it outside the integral so I have a six times from zero to five x squared dx and then I use the first fundamental of uh, theorem of calculus um, I find um, first find what is the antiderivative of the function fx equals x squared and that is x to the third over 3 and I evaluate this at 0 and 5 and find the difference and then multiply by 6 uh, when x equals 5, uh, 5 to the third, that is uh, 125. So that's 125 over 3. When x is 0, that is 0. And 6 over 3 is a 2. Mm. So, and a 2 times 125, that's 250. Okay. So the result is uh, 250. Okay. Um, the for the trigonometric functions, uh, y equals sine x is an odd function, and y equals cosine x is an even function. Because you can see, uh, if we consider the, um consider the graph of the sine x the graph is a uh, um uh symmetric with respect to the origin if we consider these two points right these uh, two points they are symmetric so the graph uh, is symmetric with respect to the origin or we consider the this point pi zero and uh, negative pi zero so the graph are symmetric with respect to the origin and uh, the graph of uh, cosine the graph is uh, symmetric 
with respect to the y-axis, right? If we consider these two points, so this graph and uh, this graph, they are symmetric with respect to the y-axis, okay? So because of this, um, the first integral um, is from negative pi over 7 to positive pi over 7. And since uh, sine x is an odd function, this integral equals 0. And for the second function, this integral equals 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 cosine x dx. And uh, the antiderivative of cosine x is a sine x. So this equals sine x, where x from 0 to pi over 2 and uh, multiply by 2. So this equals 2 times sine pi over 2 minus sine pi, sorry, sine of 0. And uh, sine pi over 2 equals 1, and sine of 0 equals 0. So this equals 2. Okay. 